Hey guys, it's Renee, welcome back. Today we're gonna be making some treats for Valentine's Day, but before we start, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. For the first ingredient we're gonna be using is nuts. How many depends on how many you want you have in your treats, but this is how much I used per eight uh, hearts. So we're gonna be shopping them. You can use a food processor for this, but I didn't want to just uh, clean anything extra and I kind of want to have like the control of how big or how small my pieces are. But just, you know, if you want to, you can use any other method you like. My second ingredient is going to be chocolate. Using half a cup of this chocolate chip and we're going to be tempering or melting it once we start. I'm going to be using some mixed berries. This is how many I used, as you can see it's not that much. And I'm using frozen berries. Now because these are frozen after all, they kind of sweat a bit after you remove them from the fridge. So if you want them to look cuter, just work with fresh berries. Next time I make the streak, I'm just going to be working with, you know, fresh ones. I think it's, it's better for that. But I was just working with these ones because these are the ones that I have. And then I'm just going to shove them into kind of chunky pieces, just using my knife and cutting them into four or maybe six pieces per fruit. But uh, the strawberries are going to give you much more because they're bigger. And this is how much I ended up using, one third of a cup. Okay, to make the heart shapes, we're going to be actually tracing some hearts. So I freehanded some hearts with my marker and a piece of paper. The size depends on how big or how small you want your hearts to be. So this is going to be like my template for the rest of my hearts because I want them to be kind of all the same size or as equal as I can get them. Doesn't have to be perfect at all, but just have to, you know, some sort of um, reference. And then I'm just going to cut it. And I'm just going to trace a few, basing myself again from that first heart. And one goes up, one goes uh, with the face down and stuff like that. So I can have eight hearts per piece of paper. And then I'm just going to cut them all. Then I'm going to be working on a tray. And I'm going to be using some parchment paper to remove my chocolate hearts. And between that, I'm going to just be placing all my hearts. And this is the final order, just so you know, just so you can see how I place them. You're going to not have enough space if you place them all facing the same way. Now it's time to melt the chocolate. I'm not actually going to just melt it, I'm just going to temper it according to my practice instructions. And then the actual fun comes here. Um, it's just making the hearts and for that I'm using a spoon. I'm just pretty much tracing the heart or just following the heart, the paper heart that I have below. If you're really picky about the shape being perfect, just use, you know, a piping bag, piping tip. But I just kind of like the the casual way this, this has. So yeah, you don't really need any special equipment or tools to make a heart out of chocolate. One thing I would really, really, really recommend you now that I was doing this well, it depends on the chocolate you're working with, but mine kind of start drying like really fast. So have everything just ready to go, your nuts, your tray, your berries. It's going to be a lot easier for you to have everything in there. And then I'm just going to go and kind of sprinkle my hearts with my berries. The mess here looks kind of better, but I, one thing I would really recommend you is to avoid having berries like on the edges. You're going to see why later on. The berry starts to sweat that transfer into the edge of the chocolate. And just try to work like not like super in the center of the heart, not too much on the edges. You get my point. And then I'm just going to sprinkle the whole thing with my nuts. As you can see, my first two hearts were just drying, so that's why I was mentioning to just act fast or just, you know, have it, everything ready to go. I'm going to put this though on the fridge and give it a good half hour to just set. And then I'm just going to peel the whole thing by just doing this. It's pretty simple, it should come right up. And we have really cute hearts made out of chocolate, berries, and nuts. They are super delicious. But yeah, and you can see up close how the berries are acting. So just try to work with fresh fruits. I chose chocolate because it's one of those decadent flavors. It's so romantic. I hope you like it, hope you give it a try. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, share it, and subscribe to my channel for more stuff. So thank you for watching and happy Valentine's. Bye guys.